Directors learned about how infrastructure is a challenge for the oil industry in western North Dakota. Justin Kringstead is director of the North Dakota Pipeline Authority. He says limited natural gas pipeline and processing is going to soon be an issue. One of the first steps of making sure that natural gas is captured and marketable is, is sending it to a natural gas processing facility. And so right now, North Dakota has um, a shortage of processing plant capacity. We have roughly a billion cubic feet of new plant capacity coming online this year and next year, uh, which will help address the situation for a short term. Um, but my long-term expectation is that growth is going to exceed even this uh, billion cubic feet of, per day of plant capacity very soon and that we will need additional plants to be constructed or expanded over the next several years and in the coming decades. Kringstead says technology today is bringing a little more than 12% of oil in the Bakken to the surface. Using carbon dioxide for enhanced oil recovery could increase that, but it's still decades away. Right now, in North Dakota, the, the availability of producing the oil from the resources between 12 and 17% and of the oil actually gets produced. The remaining 80 plus percent stays down in, in the, the rock structure. And so when we look long term, enhanced oil recovery, the goal is to increase that. If we can get to 20%, 25, 30% would be a complete game changer for the region. And so how far it is being developed right now in the laboratories, a tremendous amount of research going, but any sizable implementation of that um, is likely many, many years away. Um, there's still a tremendous amount of inventory left to drill of just traditional drilling and exploring in North Dakota. Um, but because of the resource that's in the ground um, and the amount of resource that's left after the initial phase of development, um, it's, it's likely that next progression as this field continues to mature.